Hey guys, happy Friday! So, definitely have some uh, different vibes going on today. Um, <laughs> and I think it looks, at least in my viewfinder, my lipstick looks blue, but it's purple. So, yeah. <laughs> I decided to test out a new kind of like eyeshadow type Halloween y thing. I don't know. I just went with it and. It's okay. I think I can practice and get better. Today, for Freaky Friday, we're going to be talking about a local cemetery. So, Keystone, South Dakota is literally like three miles up the road from where I work and like maybe 15 minutes from my apartment. I mean, okay, not 15 minutes. It's got to be more like half an hour um but yeah and it is supposedly the most haunted city in south dakota which is crazy to me because i thought that would have been deadwood but apparently it's keystone and they have a big old thing every halloween obviously i don't know if they're doing it this year because of you know <laughs> everything but I've been wanting to go to their haunting in Keystone for years and I just never seem to get the chance. So I literally can't count how many times I've been to Keystone just because it is literally so close to where I live because they have like an amazing taffy shop and just like where you can go and watch them pull and flavor the taffy like it's really cool. Um, they have a bunch of just really cool local little shops that sell really good stuff. Um, and it's just, it's really beautiful too. It's a super touristy place, but, um, but every time, almost every time I've gone to Keystone, it wasn't in like a, oh, I'm looking for a haunted time capacity. It was just, oh, we have some extra free time. Like, let's go walk around Keystone. But apparently it's... Like I said, super haunted. You have um, Big Thunder Gold Mine in the old school and what is it? Ruby's Ruby House Restaurant. And I've just never stopped at any of these places. And the one time Shane and I specifically went on a ghost thing to Keystone, it was the off season. So all these places were shut down. Like we even drove by the, the old school, like trying to see if we could maybe go in, but it was closed down because there's like a whole school museum tour type thing because it's historical. But Shana and I last year, maybe it was earlier, it had to have been earlier this year, like January or February, I think, um, right before everything went down. Um, we went and took a specific trip to Keystone Cemetery. And I mean, we left at like six o'clock in the morning. Like it was still dark out when we left town and it was just getting light when we got to the cemetery. I love this cemetery because it's very open. It's not gated. It doesn't have hours. So like you can't get in trouble for being there at night or like super early in the morning which I prefer. I get why cemeteries have hours and stuff like that, but it bugs me as the person I am that I can't go like to a cemetery in the middle of the night. Um, you can in my hometown of Mitchell, like that cemetery is open. Like they do not care what hour you were in that cemetery. <laughs> so at Keystone Cemetery, there is rumored to be the ghost of a little girl that go that like walks around as well as a dark shadowy figure that tends to like growl at people obviously we did not experience either of those but still um i would love to go back at night sometime and spend some time there oh like the deadwood cemetery we went there at night too um and yeah it's just it's open you can go whenever and i love that Going to the Deadwood Cemetery at night was super cool. I loved it. <laughs> like I said, we went really early in the morning, like right after sunrise. Like there was deer eating like right off the edge of the cemetery. And the cemetery itself is beautiful. And it's like 
quite a ways out of town, so it's super secluded and quiet. So we hung out for a while, maybe like an hour or more, and just walking around filming. I did some uh, pendulum work, I did EVP recordings, and we really didn't get anything as far as EVP. Um, I will say when I was trying to contact spirits with my pendulum, it was vibrating really hard and it would just kind of start moving even though I wasn't really even asking questions. Um, but then I felt like when I did ask questions, it wouldn't really do anything. So that was kind of weird. Also, like kind of for fun, but kind of not. I had this um, ghost box app on my phone and I turned that on. And so it's supposed to sweep through channels like a regular spirit box. Um, but then I guess words also pop up in this little box underneath the static bar which I was not aware of. And like, as you can see in the video, there's no word when I first turn it on in the box. But as I'm walking and there's this specific grave of a man that had like a beer bottle um, left by his family, there's, there had been no voices coming through. And as I go by this one grave, a man's voice comes through. Did you hear that? <clears throat> oh, no. I don't know what that noise was. Wait, ghost? It didn't say that before. So we were still over there. Did it? No, I don't know if it said it at the beginning. And then the word ghost shows up in the the box, the word box. And at the time, and then uh, I guess afterwards I didn't really think about it, but then when I was reviewing the footage for this video, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Like, that didn't say ghost before. And I did hear, like, a man's voice come out. And, I mean, I in the video you can hear me, t like, ask Shana, did you hear that? But looking back at the footage, it's a lot clearer than I realize like it's a male voice coming through and then later I pull out the box and um I pull out the box I turn the app on my phone on <laughs> make it so way more dramatic and um professional than it was um I put the app back up on my phone and there's no voices but then the box says a different word which doesn't really seem relevant to anything, but still, like, this random word pops up. I actually found, I haven't gotten it yet. Is it something that wasn't on your list? Yeah. I found it on your list. Two, Kate called it on Nice. No, you get it from the birthday of Christmas, but you get it. Like I said, nothing major happened when we went, but I also feel like, oh, I feel like if we went at night, we would get something like way more concrete. So I want to go back so bad and spend like an hour or two at night there. But the thing is, is like, if I'm going to do that, I really want a night vision camera. And I just have had not had luck with night vision cameras. Like, I'll find a camera that's like, oh yeah, it's got night vision. And then I buy it, even though it's like suspiciously cheap, but it has really good ratings. And it doesn't have night vision. It just has a light on the camera. <sighs> I just, uh, yeah. I just need to actually spend money on a night vision camera. But at the same time, I'm like, but do I really need to? Because this isn't like, 
something I do professionally. So anyway, I'm going to leave you guys here with some footage that we took at the cemetery and just kind of give you a look around Keystone Cemetery. And I will say like I, I, I I really want to go back and I really want to do a more investigative video at the cemetery because I, I mean I'm telling you I could feel it like you can feel the energy at that cemetery my background is wrong for this whole video and then suddenly there's a ghost because I realized that I didn't have my ghosts up in the background for this video like I was supposed to. So anyway, enjoy this footage. <laughs> Flowers though. Someone must have known. Wow. Well, they that might is beautiful. Be they might just be a certain type. Yeah. Might be One. There's a lot of space for two people. Huh? When there's a plot like that, there's always more than one person. It makes too much noise, but I got the sniffles. I do too. <clears throat> yeah, there's just one grave in there. Let's see what it says. <coughs> Wife of. I guess I don't get that quote. <laughs> Let your face be like the morning as the days are going by. I don't get it. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> They died in my birth year. What, six months? <clears throat> After. 1991? Yeah, December 4th. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you so much and I will see you later.